In this video, we want to show that the power set of the natural numbers is uncountable, which means in particular that the cardinality of the natural numbers is smaller than the cardinality of the power set of the natural numbers, which we are signifying with 2 to the n. So the power set of the natural numbers is, of course, the collection of all the subsets of the natural numbers. So the definition of a countable set is one that can be put into a bijection with the natural numbers. So just to review, so for example, if we had the natural numbers here on the left-hand side of this map, and for example, the even numbers on the right-hand side of this map, then we could create a bijection here and show that since the even numbers can be put into a bijection with the natural numbers, that the even numbers are indeed countable. What we want to show is that if we're dealing with the power set of the natural numbers, that that cannot happen. So let's get a feel for why this is not going to work. Let's say I had the simple idea that I wanted to create my bijection this way. I want to send the natural number 1 to the set that only contains the number 1, and I want to send the natural number 2 to the set containing only the number 2, and etc. all the way down the line. Now, obviously that's not going to work, because even if I continue this ad infinitum, I'm never going to, for example, have the set 1, 2 on the right side of this map here. Right? So I'm always only going to have sets with one member. This idea is obviously not going to work. Let's maybe be a little more subtle on our second attempt here. And let's say I wanted to send the number 1 to all the numbers divisible by 1. In other words, the natural numbers themselves. And I wanted to send the number 2 to all of the even numbers, which we called before just E. And we wanted to send 3 to the set that contains all of the multiples of 3, and we send 4 to the set that contains all the multiples of 4. Now this might seem like a somewhat more subtle idea than before, but in reality this doesn't help us one incy bitsy bit. Right? We now have sets that contain infinitely many members, but that doesn't help us because we still don't ever take care of, for example, the set 1, 2. Right? We only have sets that have infinitely many members. So what we want to show now is that indeed there is no way to create a bijection between the natural numbers and the power set of the natural numbers. Indeed, let us assume we had found such a map, and I'll just make up some random map here just so we have something concrete in front of us, but this is just an example. Let's say I'm sending the number 1 to the set that contains 2, 3, and the number 2 to the set that contains 2, 3, 4, and then maybe 3 is sent to set containing 4, and 4 is sent to the set containing 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, let's say. That's just an example. But let's say that we had indeed found a bijection that worked between the natural numbers and the power set of the natural numbers all the way down the line. Then what we're going to do now is we're going to give each one of these sets a name. We'll call this one A1. We'll call this one A2. We'll call this one A3, etc. all the way down the line. Now these are all sets, all subsets of the natural numbers. What we're going to do now to show that this cannot work is create another subset of the natural numbers, but that it cannot be in this list. And that is this subset here. We'll call it A, and it's the set of all natural numbers I for which it is the case that i is not 
in AI. Now what does that mean concretely? In our case here, that means that A, since A1, does not contain a 1, that A does contain a 1. And since A2 does contain a 2, then our A will not contain a 2. So A3 does not contain a 3, so A does contain a 3. And A4, since it does contain a 4, our A will not contain a 4. In other words, A3, for example, or A, I should say, contains a 3 if and only if A3 does not contain a 3. Right? That's how we built this set A. Now, this set A is a subset of the natural numbers, but it can't be in this list here. Because it differs from A1 in whether it has a 1 or not, it differs from A2 in whether it has a 2 or not, it differs from A3 in whether it has a 3 or not, etc. So we have proved that no matter what sort of list we come up with here, A cannot be in it. This is an instance of Cantor's diagonal argument. And that shows that indeed N cannot be put into a bijection with its power set. In other words, the power set of the natural numbers is uncountable.